guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things beauty and skincare related and I'm also obsessed with fashion. And you guys, we are right in the middle of October. I'm an October baby. My birthday is October 25th. I'm just saying that because I wanted to share my birthday with you guys. Why not? It's fun. You guys are like my, my really closest friends. Like I love you guys and I wanted to share my birthday with you guys. Why not? October 25th. I'm a Scorpio. Hi. How are you? I know people are like super into astro astrology and stuff like that. The reason why I'm doing this video today is because who doesn't love fall and winter boots? Like I love boots and I love boots that are made of quality because I will keep my winter boots for ye like years. Like I bought a pair of Steve Madden boots they were $200. I bought them literally when I was like 19 years old. I still wear the damn things. I don't, I, I'm gonna wear them. Like they're on deck. They're somewhere stored away. I'm going to wear them. They are brown saddle riding boots. They're in great condition. They're marked up and scuffed. And I like that look because it, it means that they were worn and they just look cool. And I, I still to this day get compliments on them and they are still in great condition. And I just love a good quality boot. Now, I am itching for new boots by the year. Now, what I do want to say, so the reason why I'm doing this video is I want to show you guys the boots that I'm eyeing up and that I want. This is a winter fall boot wish list. I'm not going to get all of the boots on this wish list, but I want to show you guys the boots that I like and the boots that I really want to the boots that I, it's like, I would wear that, I would want that, but I don't think I'm going to spend the money on that, stuff like that. So let's get right into the video and I'm going to show you guys what's popping. First pair of boots that I'm probably going to end up buying and it's the most affordable boot on my list is going going to be the, a pair of Ugg boots and they're called the either I'm going to get the Seden's S-Y-D-E-N they are $160 or I'm going to get the Romilly buckle and I believe I've already had the Romilly buckles and I wore them to death had them in black right and I wore these to death they actually gave them away Ooh, and then they come in like burnt olive which is great so the, the trick with Ugg boots is first of all I go through Ugg boots like crazy. So the classic Ugg boots these days, just they do not, they're just not quality anymore. I was around, I now I don't know if this makes me old or not. I don't think it makes me old. I think it makes me fabulous and it just makes me like seasoned. Like I was around when Ugg boots were like not popular and then they became popular. And I straight up, like my mom bought me my first pair of Ugg boots when they were like impossible to get. So like when Ugg boots first hit the scene, nobody had them. Nobody even wore boots with jeans. Like it was all bell bottoms, bootlegs with clogs and like pointed toe heels. Boots with jeans were unheard of when I was in middle school. This is when they first really hit. And when if you wore boots with jeans, like on like your jeans tucked in boots, you were looked at as so weird and so strange. So when like Kim Cattrall wore them and like Sarah Jessica Parker wore them on Sex and the City, everybody was like, oh my God, Everybody wanted a pair of Ugg boots and like Pamela Anderson wore them in the middle of the summertime and it was just like everybody, they were so hot, nobody could even get a pair. But my mother, like she knew how to get, my mother was that type of mother who would always be able to get the hottest Christmas gift. I don't know how she would do it. She thrived on it. She was just that mother was who was like in line getting those Cabbage Patch babies. Like she was just that mom. So when Ugg boots hit the scene, nobody thought, like, like in New York City, you couldn't get them. On Amazon and all that, you couldn't get them. They were just sold out, sold out. But nobody, nobody thought, oh, a little, a little boot shop in Pennsylvania had a pair of Ugg boots. And my mom walked in and they said, oh yeah, we have them. We've been carrying Ugg boots forever. At the time, they were made of sheepskin. They were hiking boots. They were not even, they always were made, but they were never fashion statements. Do you see what I'm saying? So my mom bought me this pair of, these pair of Ugg boots. At the time, you only saw them in People magazine. We didn't have phones like this. We didn't have, you know, you saw fashion in People magazine. So when my mom gifted me these Ugg boots, I opened them and I was like, oh, and they were $200. That's a lot of freaking money to gift your 14 year old child. And I was like, mom, oh my God. And she's like, these are so in right now, honey. Like my mom, at one time, my mom was like almost like that hell, like that cool mom from Mean Girls, but like she, that that wore off real quick. But for a minute there, my mom was like a Mean Girls mom. 
I was never a mean girl, but my mom was like, what, like whatever. But she's like, I said, mom, oh my God, like, wow. Like I was like blown away, but I was also scared to death to wear them because nobody had them. And wearing boots with jeans was like, again, unheard of. But she said, uh, you're wearing them. This is what my mom told me. You're wearing them. They're all over People Magazine and us. Pamela Anderson's wearing them. Sarah Jessica Parker's wearing them. I paid $200 for these. They're not getting sent back. I can't send them. I don't think she could send them back. I, I feel like she, there was a reason why she couldn't send them back for some reason. And the shop wouldn't allow returns, something like that. It was like a little small mom and pop shop. And she said, you're going to wear these boots. They were $200, honey. You're wearing them. I said, okay. Wore them to school the next day. Got brutally picked on Everybody made fun of me in these boots. They were like, oh my God, I got bullied so bad for wearing Ugg boots. Now this seems so funny now because everybody and their mother has Ugg boots. Everybody wears boots with jeans. Like it's so normal now. But let me tell you, when they first hit the scene and I was 14 years old, guys, I'm going to be 32. When they first hit the scene and I tucked them in my jeans and I wore them because at the time, you wore Ugg boots with mini skirts. You wore Ugg boots with jean mini skirts. That's how you wore them and sweaters that and low rise. That's how you wore them. Like seriously, Paris Hill and Britney Spears, like the whole nine. So that's how I, I styled them. I mean, like guys, hi, how are ya? I got brutally picked on. I wasn't envied. I was freaking bullied. Anyway, I would come home from school crying because so-and-so, you know, made fun of me. I forget what they called them, but they were just like, who does she think she is? They're the ugliest. They were, oh no, they're ugh for ugly. That's what they were. I was, I was told I had the ugliest boots in the world. I'd come home crying every single day. Mom, they made fun of me. And my mom would straight look at me, like straight look at me and just be like, uh, Morgan, like, you're gonna show up tomorrow. You're gonna pick your head up. You're gonna show up tomorrow. You, they're not gonna get the best of you. Morgan, they're the best boots on the market. You're gonna show up and you're gonna wear these boots. And I did every single day. I showed up to this ratchet school that I hated. I ended up switching schools, by the way. I ended up switching from middle school to high school, like switching schools, because I just, I could not stand this school system. I did not fit in. But I did, I showed up every day and I was brutally, brutally made fun of for these freaking boots. And my mom, and I was like, I remember like I'd go home and I'd be like, mom, just please, I cannot wear these boots today. Like I need a break, I need a freaking break. Like I, I, I it was just wild, just freaking wild. That's a background of some bullying that I experienced as a child. But anyway, Ugg boots for me, I always, I always have a slight giggle towards because I always think back to those days where it's like, wow, like I just remember that. I just have that relationship with Ugg. Anyway, when I think of my first pair of Ugg boots, they were so solid. Like, like they were made so well back then that like the bottoms were like thick and they these boots were made to last now the classic Ugg boots they're so flimsy they're like house slippers like you could you're lucky if you could get one winter out of them you're lucky and they're still freaking expensive so when it comes to Ugg boots now in 2021 going into 2022 like 14 year old Morgan days those those quality boots they're done I wish I still freaking had them to show you because they were dope back then and guess what, let me, do, oh, and before you guys think my mom is evil for making me go to school and wearing those, let me tell you something, that made me so resilient in life just from bucking up and showing up and not backing down to those ignorant ass kids. I straight up now, like when pe if people laugh at me or whatever, or make fun of my clothes, like I know that I've been through the worst and you literally can't offend me. Like if people make fun of what I'm wearing or some shit, I, you can't offend me. Like that's made me so much stronger. At the time I was traumatized and miserable, but now as an adult, I'm so much stronger for what the hell I've been through. I still think though, and I do still buy Ugg boots. I actually bought a pair of mini Bailey buttons last year. I think they're on my channel. Um, I literally wear them around the house and wear them to let my dogs out. And I wear them like as little slippy, like little slippers. Like they're, they're so cute. But I would still recommend if you want boots from Ugg that are gonna still have some longevity to them, try to get a pair of like, um, uh, boots like that so try to get the pair like I'm seeing like the say I can't even say that weather ready they have like a thicker platform Aubrey L's they look like they don't stay away from the classics 
They're just not made the way they used to. The Romilly shorts, again, more of like a boot, like an, a real boot with a real bottom. They're stiffer. Like try to stick to like a real boot. They all still say Ugg on the back. They're just not those flimsy classic Uggs, the, the Waylins. They're still, um, oh, the Lakeside or Heritage Mids. These are actually pretty dope. I think these are actually sneakers turned into uh, boots and I think these are so cool. I'm eyeing these up too and I might actually consider buying these. The thing I love about Ugg is that no matter which boot you buy, they're so incredibly warm and they're so incredibly comfortable and they're still priced really well. So you just have to navigate the Ugg website, choose a solid boot. Not every one of their boots are solid, but if you find a good solid boot, buy it and you'll have it for years to come. They're comfortable, they're warm, and you'll wear the hell out of them. So the next boot on my list List has been a boot that I've been wanting for so long that I think this might be the year that I'm actually going to invest and finally get it. And that is the, the Stuart Weitzman 5050 boot. Now, this is like such a classic boot. It's over the knee. I either want the original 5050 boot or the 5050 lift. Now, I like the lift because it's, it's a little more of a heel. I love these boots because they're so, so light. And let me tell you something, when I go and I like feel leathers on boots and shoes and everything, Stuart Weitzman makes gorgeous, gorgeous leather shoes. And I feel like Stuart Weitzman, it's big, it's great, it's, it's luxury, but it's not like, you know, like a Chanel or a Dior or an Hermes, but still it's like really, really nice. And they make these softest, most supple leathers like even better quality than a lot of other luxury brands and I am so impressed with the quality of Stuart Weitzman that I really really want a pair of 5050s. My problems are one skinny skinny jeans are kind of starting to fade out in fashion and I'm worried that once I finally get a pair of $795 5050 boots like the trend is gonna be like boot cut, bell bottoms, and like they're really starting to come back, like low rise, and I'm gonna cover these boots up with these types of clothes, or I'm not gonna be able to wear them as much, and I'm gonna have to wear them with like skirts or dresses or shorts with pantyhose or something like that. And like, if I buy these boots, I wanna wear the hell out of them because they're expensive. I wanna be able to wear them. Like like my Chanel ballerinas, like I wear, I get my wear out of those. Like, you know, just any type of boot or shoe, like I get my wear. So same applies to these. And another, so oh, also the leathers, oh my God, like the Napa leathers, if I felt that in person and like, oh my God, it's butter and even the suede. Like, you don't think like you'd want a suede, but let me tell you something, the suede is like, mwah. like I put that on in person and I was like, that's freaking gorgeous. The problem right now, what's holding me back from the 5050s are the colors. I really want a nice like cognac or a nice sand color because I have my classic Chanel flap in beige and I really want something in like a like a tan shade like right now it's like I think it's like that burgundy wine color which I actually really really like I think I could get that for like 25% off now uh they have like an indigo blue and of course they have the classic black I have a classic I have a black pair of boots they're Calvin Klein's I've had them forever too uh I just don't wear them I don't wear a lot of black clothes and it's like when I do it's it's nice to have a black pair of shoes but I don't wear them enough and if I'm gonna spend the money I'd love a nice neutral like shade of brown or tan or something like that and they don't have those colors right now I am considering getting like that wine color burgundy color because I feel like I can wear that a lot it's just a wine burgundy color and it's like long term I don't know how it's gonna go but I still think I would wear that a lot like I know black like anybody can wear black but I'm just not like I don't wear a lot of black things like I'm just like that Stuart Weitzman's are also hard because they come in like narrow wide or medium I am a medium so that's just food for thought I am a classic size seven 
and I am a medium in Stuart Weitzman. And US size, I am a true blue size seven in the US. And I am a true seven in Stuart Weitzman, just in case you were wondering. But if you, you better believe I have my eye on those 50-50s and as soon as they come out with a brown pair, like I, I have a feeling I'm going to be there and I'm gonna be ready to buy. So next we're gonna go to Hermes. And Hermes has a lot of yummy boots too that I really want. And Hermes is so understated with their shoes that they almost remind me, well, I'm not gonna say it because it might be insult them, but, my, <laughs> but they do have classic, classic styles like Uggs or something like that, just like in their design. I would say if I was to ever buy a pair of riding boots and I wanted to drop mad money on a pair of riding boots, I feel like the best place you can go and buy a, the best pair of riding boots would be Hermes. Cause I mean like their heritage is from horseback riding. like. It's all about horses when it comes to Hermes. And if you're gonna buy a pair of horse riding boots, cause like riding boots, that's really what they are. They're like horse riding boots. Like Hermes would make the best ones I would I would assume, right? Like I would do that. Like if I was like to go buy like bomb ass riding boots, like I wanted the best and I was committed, I would go to Hermes to buy them. The next boot by Hermes that I'm actually very interested in, it's called the Denavel Ankle Boot and they're $1,500 but they're supposed to be, the website lists them as a casual trekking boot, and they're really cool because one, they're casual, which I like. Two, they're not so high, and I feel like I can wear them all the time. Like, I want a boot that I can just wear nonstop, no matter what. I wanna just wear them until the soles fall off type deal. And I know anything Hermes that I buy is going to last me a lifetime. Like any, any, like the shoes that I bought by Hermes, my um, Legends heels, those things are solid and they are so nice and well made. What I love about the trekking boots is they have this stamp right on the tongue of the boot that says Hermes Paris, which is nice because a lot of the times with Hermes is they're so understated that you don't, now for me, it's like I got that new money vibe. Like I know old money people, they could care less about like if the brand name is showing, but I got that new money vibe and I'm like, you know what? You're damn right, I want the Hermes sign to show. I am wearing Hermes boots and I'm proud of it. So yeah, so I like these trekking boots. I have not seen them yet in person or tried them on. They look heavy. If they're heavy, I'm not gonna want them, but if they're super light and easy to wear and they feel sturdy, that I might seriously consider buying these for my birthday, not even kidding. And the black ones, I know I just said I don't like black boots, but that black shine in these, oh my God, the black shine in these, oof, they're so nice. But I probably get brown to go with like the tan vibe of my classic Chanel beige. And then there's another pair here that I really like. I'm trying to find them. They're called the Discovery Ankle Boots right here. And they have like a platform to them, but not the black. They come in white, I believe. I have to find them. They've been out for a while, for a second. And I've been stocking these boots, actually, at the Denver's are, wow, do they not make the white ones anymore? Are they off the website? The Discovery boots come in black, I see, but in the beginning of fall, maybe they're still available in store, just not online. Maybe you could get them in store somewhere like at your local, but anyway, I'll just show you. So they did, they don't even have the color anymore online, but they're called the Discovery Ankle Boot. It's an ankle boot in calfskin and rubber sole with crepe effect, a casual and comfortable trekking boot. So these are cool, I like these, but I, you know what, now that I'm looking at these, they don't have the Hermes symbol on them, and I'd rather pay a couple hundred bucks more, plus they have like that really rubber bottom that is okay. I actually like the other ones more. I would, I would like the Discovery ankle boot in white if they still made them, but I still like the Denavel ankle boot better now. I think they're dope. And Either way, I feel like if I decide not to go with the Ugg boots, because the Ugg boots I could probably get a couple winters out of, maybe one, two, one or two, three max. The Hermes ones, yeah, you're spending a lot more money. You could buy a ton of Ugg boots for the price of one Hermes boot, but that Hermes boot I will have forever and I could probably give to my children, not even kidding. So that's what the, the beauty of luxury is, is that when you buy a really well-made product, you're gonna have it forever versus if you buy a $150 pair of Ugg boots, you're lucky if you get, you know, two seasons out of them. Where the Hermes boot, you're gonna have a lifetime. So anyway, that's my thoughts on my winter boots. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I do love boots and the boots are expensive, but I mean, 
you get what you pay for, honestly. And I think in the boot game, that really shows. Like, you can tell the difference between a good quality boot and a not. And I also want to let you guys know, uh, boots come in all different, like, styles and leathers and suede, but the interior also matters and what's inside, whether there's wool inside or is it just a straight leather boot and there's like a leather sole and the lining is just leather also because I have a pair of black Manolo Chelsea boots that look a lot, they're, um, Hermes has a pair of boots like that too. Uh, that I could see a lot of people buying because they're very simplistic looking, which I, I'm gravitated towards them also. You have to also check the sole of boots because if you buy a solid leather boot with no wool lining or nothing in the lining, those boots are not going to keep your feet warm. Like I love my Manolo boots very much. They're leather, they're soft, they're great, they're beautiful looking, they're very sleek looking. Do they keep my feet warm in any capacity? No, they don't. They really, really don't. They're just leather. And leather doesn't really keep your feet warm. You know what I mean? It's all about the lining when it comes to boots. So when I'm looking for boots, I see a lot of that with Hermes. Uh, they have a lot of great lining. And the thing that concerns me about the Stewies is, of course, am I going to have that same problem where my feet aren't going to be warm? Now, you're probably thinking, well, Morgan, I mean, look at the boots. They're a very different style. They're almost like a fashion boot and they definitely elongate your legs and make you look beautiful and everything like that. They're very different styles. So I definitely see the concern, but uh, that's something that I'm gonna have to decide on my own. Which do I prefer more? Maybe I'll go and try the two on. If I do decide to go to the mall, I'm gonna try to out, you know, weigh the pros and cons and see which one I like more. Everybody, I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. I'm constantly talking talking about luxury beauty, luxury skincare, mostly luxury fashion and it's explaining, you know, why I like certain things and why I buy certain things. I'm not rich. I never claim to be rich. I'm just a girl who likes to prioritize spending on quality things. And I like to tell you guys how and why I get them. I love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.